Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship in one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. We pray for every Christian, Heavenly Father. Help us all to remain, to remain strong through this whole thing. Soon we'll be together again. Heavenly Father, I don't pray just for us on this parking lot, but I pray for us. I'm praying for the people all over the world at this time. For all of those in our city, in our country, and other countries. Heavenly Father, show your mercy to all of us and help them all to realize that you are there, that you are with them. Just listen to you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity. And thank you for all the people that this Marcellus Avenue wishing that show love to me all the time by calling me Heavenly Father. And everything you in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for all your blessings. Dear Lord, thank you for letting us come here today to pray to you here in this parking lot, dear Lord, even though we're not able to worship together. I pray that not only will you watch over people's physical health at this time, you also watch over people's mental health. Help to show everyone the blessings that you've shown us every day, dear Lord. And help us to, to show us that we have a roof over our heads, food and water. We're able to come, even come here today to walk, to run. Just show us the little blessings that we see every day. And just because we're not able to go outside and see our friends and family, dear Lord, please show that even though we're stuck inside, we're still really very, very blessed. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you this day to give a thanksgiving for you, allowing, for you allowing us to wake up this morning in our right minds, Lord, and giving us the strength to drive to the parking lot to worship and praise your name. We come, Lord, we pray for those that we've lost in the church as well as those of this world, Lord. Whether it be through sickness or through this pandemic, Father God, we just ask that you continue to be with the families that's grieving at this time, Father God. Lord, we know that once the phone calls stop and the knocks on the door don't come anymore, that we have you that we can turn to, Father God. So we pray, Lord, and we just pray and ask that you be with those families and allow them to understand that you are always there and that they can just pick up and call upon your name and talk to you, Lord, and you're always here. Your Father God, we just pray and ask that you give them the strength that even through this darkest time, Lord, that there's a light that's shining. You, they continue to allow your light to shine through them. We come, Lord, and we say this prayer in your precious Son, Jesus' name. Amen. May we please bow. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, Thank you for helping us to be able to come to you when we know that we have done wrong, because we all know that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We thank you for giving your son on the cross for us to die for our sins and our transgressions. Thank you so much, dear God, for allowing us to be able to come to you in prayer and ask for and to confess what we've done wrong and to ask for forgiveness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for keeping your protective hedge around everyone in this community. Please give the guidance and strength to those in need of it. I pray that you will allow us to continue to stay strong and united against this virus. As we go throughout this day of prayer, I pray you will allow this praying and to even those listening to grow a closer connection to you and your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God, my Savior. God, my healer, God, my deliverer, yes, he is, oh, yes, he is. Dear God, thank you for all you've done this year. I pray for those who have lost their jobs. I hope they are able to find a new job as they fight through this COVID-19 for their families. I pray families will be safe. 
without encountering any heart harm or danger. We pray that as we go throughout this quarantine, we can look to you for guidance and strength throughout this devastating time. We pray that while there are many who have lost their jobs, that they can still find a place of normalcy in life. And that those who have been laid off or put on furlough will be able to find a job to provide for them. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Let us bow. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning with bowed heads and humble, humble spirits. First, thanking you for being ever so present in our lives. Thanking you for being our Alpha and our Omega. Thanking you for choosing us, Father God, and being an ever-present help in times of need. We come before you today collectively lifting up prayers during this, these times of uncertainty, Father God. Father, we are in, un in uncharted waters. And as you already know, the world has been shook by this pandemic. Countless people have been affected in various ways. I come specifically lifting up prayers for the masses, especially those of the household of faith, Father God, who have been touched by job loss, furlough, or seeking movement in their careers. We know that you are the giver and sustainer of life, Father. We know that you are our provider, Father. Father, fill our hearts, fill the hearts of those who have lost jobs as they trust your word. We ask that you crown their heads with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Father, to help them navigate through our new normal, Father God. Give them the courage to reinvent themselves, Father God, and open doors of opportunity. We know, Father God, that you are bigger than COVID-19. For you alone know the end and how this will all play out. Let us continue to trust you with unshakable faith. Thank you for this opportunity to cry out to you, Father, and for hearing us. We ask for forgiveness of sin so that this prayer does not fall on deaf ears. In Jesus' name we do thank this prayer. God, my Savior, God, my healer. Father, we just come before you today. We thank you so very much for being such a wonderful, awesome, holy, merciful, just, compassionate, righteous, and all-knowing God who loves us. We ask you, Lord, to please forgive us of our sins and all the ways that we fall short. Help us to be better Christians in the future than we have in the past. Lord, we just thank you 
for this beautiful weather today. We will storm in this morning. We thank you for this beautiful weather. Thank you for your love, your mercy, and your protection. And we thank you for all the many blessings that you've given us even during these trying times, Lord. Yes. Lord, we come before you specifically asking for you to increase our faith and increase our trust in you. But we don't know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. Yes. Lord, help us not to forget to remember. Remember all the ways that you have rescued us in the past. Lord, you've always brought us through natural disasters, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, job losses, financial hardship, relationship challenges, hardsh any hardships of every kind. Yes. Lord, we just thank you for bringing us through those, for, even for those who are grieving and who's experienced loss of life. We know that you are the God of all comfort and you can heal us in a way that no one can. Help us to remember that blessed are they that die in the Lord. And Lord, when we feel helpless and overwhelmed, help us to remember that greater is he that is in us than is in the world. Lord, when we feel lonely, help us to remember that you said you will never leave us or forsake us. And Lord, when we don't know which way to go, help us to remember that you said, trust in you and lean not on our own understanding and you will make our path straight. You'll show us the direction to go. Lord, when we're feeling anxious, help us to remember that you don't want us to be anxious for anything, but in all prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make our requests known to you. Help us to pray and bring it to you. And the peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord, will guard our hearts. Please continue to be with us, Lord. Be with us, watch over us, protect us, continue to help us to trust in you. We love you and we thank you. Jesus trust is believe. Believe in God. Believe his power. Believe what he can do. Believe what he can do for you. Believe what he can do for the people too. Do not lose your trust. Believe in our almighty God. I thank everyone that's here and I especially thank all the persons from the Encouragement and Empowerment team did this. Thank you so much. I give it over to Brother Aldridge. Amen. I thank the encouragement team, Sister Ellaby, and I
and all of you turned out today. Uh, I think Tim Corbin had a final count of 77. children should be. I thank you for you coming out this, this day. I thank you for the idea and the imp implementation and the carry through. Sisters, never cease to amaze me. I thank God for you all. Continue to pray for our leadership. Continue to pray for our deacons who serve Saturday after Saturday. <laughs> technology team that allows us to worship. Just continue to pray for us all that we continue to connect to God, connect to one another, and connect the world to the world so the world can be connected back to God and we can do His will. Yeah. Now let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, again we approach your throne of grace and mercy, thanking you for everything, Father. Thank you for being our Father. Thank you for sending your Son to die for our sins. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that guides us as we walk this life. Father, as we worship here at Marseilles, we ask you to continue to give us the mindset to be light and salt in this world, to always keep your Son raised before us. And as he draws all men unto him, you make disciples of them and teach them to make disciples of others. Again, all the while, I give you all the praise, honor, and glory. Father, we thank you not only for this event, but thank you for this congregation. The love that we have for one another, Father, continue to bless us richly in that love that we can share it among each other. The world will know that we are your son's disciples by the way we love one another. Father, we love you. We know you'll get us through this. We thank you. We trust you. In your son's name, we word this prayer. Amen. Amen.